Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to show you a mixing tool that I use a lot that is probably has the shortest list of features on it, and yet I have it in every mix. I'm using it across this mix on purpose to show you some of the benefits of using it. And that is a plugin from Mac DSP who've recently gone to VST, and that's Filterbank 202. Now it's the part of the filter bank collection and 202 is very simple but very effective and let me tell you why. And in fact what I'll do is, is show you some, some use of it first and then you'll see why I love it so much. Filters are an essential part of mixing. They help to clean up bottom end, they help to clean up top end. You can use them on synths to do sweeps and in all sorts of ways. But the way I use filter bank is for cleaning stuff up. And one of the nicest features is it has a resonant peak built into it. Often what filters will give you is they'll give you low pass and high pass. But in addition, in Filterbank, is I've got this resonant peak option that you can see here and there. And to be able to how steep the cut is, the peak will become uh, basically reflect that in the way that you can boost and cut. Let me show you what I mean by that. For example, I've got some guitar chords here on this channel. And let me open up Filterbank on that channel. So let's show you on this electric guitars. So let's go from here, these chords. So first we'll use it with that and then I'll bring it in and show you what I mean by that. So at the bottom end, we, we have some stuff I'd like to clean up because when you put everything else in, that will need some work doing on it. So, so there's the original first. Let's put that flat. And let's put the, the high pass filter in. And that's what it does, it can clean out. So what I do is come here, now this is where the peak's nice, because what I can do is then I can just put some more bottom end in. Although I've just done a 24 dB slope off at the bottom there. Check that in and out now. So it's got a lot of the low bit out, but, but still got body in the guitar. top end as well, so if we do the top end now. It's just cleaning the top and the bottom up there. Let me show you in the track now, let's put the bass and the drums in with it for a second. So we still have body in, some real body in there. Really helps to sit it in the mix. Let's go to that bass guitar now. There's the original. And again, we can do that. Now we, I know this is in G, so I want to be around about here. Put some body back in. And again, if we take the peak out the top now, it's pretty nondescript, so we can put some can really go to town if you want to. There's the original bass. Let's put that guitar back in again. Turn that filter off again. Let's put the rest of the track in now. Now I've got it all over the track. You'll find that 
this uh, filter is just brilliant for everything almost, just for cleaning stuff up. And as I say, often filters on old consoles would have been there anyway, but to have this resonant peak as well is really, really nice. So as I say, I've got it here on the Hammond organ and I've got it on the drum kit as well. And I've, I've gone a little bit over the top on purpose. So you can just hear it in action. Even just a... It's a bit of a flappy kick drum there. You can hear that. We can really go for broke if you want. At the top end. Just pulls that kit together a bit more. So uh, download it, give it a go, because I think it's fantastic. And I just wanted to show you in action on a mix uh, with just these tracks I've laid down just to give you some examples. But uh, electric guitar, bass guitar, keyboards, especially on those three, and on vocals as well, you can use it as well because of that resonant peak uh, that you can do at top and bottom. It really is one to have in the toolbox. And as I say, there's not that many features on a feature list, but it really is a great little plugin. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.